my favorite part of Louisiana was getting to see the landscape, which is very different from what I've seen in the past, and seeing how, how the people rely so much on that, on those natural resources just right out their backyard. So if you want to hunt alligator, hunt deer, you got to lease so many acres of land to do it. Anything that touches his bottom jaw triggers his mouth to snap. Ahoy, mighty! How goes it there? One of the things that we really want to emphasize here um, at the program is that we offer students a unique opportunity to understand where original information, where raw data come from. We want to give them the opportunity to move well beyond what's just on a website and understand where did the information come from that was put on that website. And so toward that end, we offer um, opportunities in what is the only program like this, not only in the country but the world, uh, to really get their fingernails dirty. Now put it on your tongue. Get it going here in just a short, short. I want to welcome all y'all uh, officially in William Smith and Seaport, way up in Connecticut. Certainly one of the most memorable days in Louisiana was Grand Isle. We were greeted by the town supervisor. It was so nice. He took us around. He showed us around the town. He even took us to his house. All that was houses. From the rocks going back to freedom. All that got wiped out. And there I really enjoyed having a conversation with his brother-in-law. His brother-in-law was in the shrimp fisheries and he was telling us about all the repercussions of the oil spill there. Uh, June, July, and August, that's what I mean. That was three months the beach was covered in oil. It's very different from watching the news. You're actually going and listening to somebody's story who's living there, and you can sort of get a sense of sureness in a world where there's a pervading sense of uncertainty with sources that you read. <laughs> we did a walking tour, uh, which combined history and literature most particularly. William Faulkner lived in New Orleans. We went by his house. Just a block and a half down from that is um, Preservation Hall, which is really the heart of American jazz. So we got to experience all of those elements on the walking tour, which again relate back to here, because um, we ended up our day there on a steamboat on the Mississippi River. And we've had classes on steam. We have a steamboat here at Mystic Seaport that people have ridden on. They've seen the engine room. And so all of these layers come together, field seminars, and our experience back home. Whoa, I might be in a hurry. I can't speed very long. <laughs> 